Hey everyone, welcome back to another Zwift race today. Doing a sprint race, two laps, Twilight Harbor, 14 kilometers, tan, flat. Uh, two sprint banners to go through, riding the uh, S-Works Venge zip wheel, disc wheel, and uh, jump right into it here. Wind up for the start. Um, don't recall the last time I've done a sprint race. It's been so long, and honestly, it has been many months. I've done a lot of group rides, a few workouts, but never an actual race. So up the gate, uh, not that hard of an effort, 350 watts. We have a flyer right away, green jersey out here, taken off, gapping the field um, right out of the gate. And I want to say he opens a 7 to 10 second gap on everyone. Uh, no worries though, we're not going to chase anything crazy like that down. And in fact, since I haven't raced in so many months, I don't really have any intensity in my legs. So I'm going to sit in for as long and as best I can and see how I do in the sprint, which is what I usually do anyways. I tend to do better in sprints than trying to do any long, slow type efforts. Um, but you can see this uh, start was not very happy hectic. I dropped down, even down to like 215 watts for a little while there. Um, course is very flat, but never, you know, it's always got these two, 3% um, deals. Uh, you know, there's a couple 4% bumps, and I think that's the steepest this route ever really gets. So skipped ahead there, obviously, and I'm just checking things out. I'm getting a little different camera angle here taking a look at the group at the pack as I slowly filter back. So ideally, I don't even want to sit fourth or fifth wheel early in the race. I want to sit right here in the middle. Um, nothing is strung out. It's a nice wide bunched type group. I, I obviously don't want to fall off the back, but um, I want to maximize my draft. And uh, I, I know I don't have great legs. I've not been racing, not a lot of intensity. So I do just that. I sit right in just like this, as you can see, and we'll skip ahead. Uh, quite a ways because not much happened. Nobody was attacking and a uh, big bunch just kind of sat all together. Um, now that's not to say we weren't free of intensity as this ramps up to 4% here. You can see I slowly feel the group um, sliding away from me. I saw some four watts per kilo type efforts on the front and so I ramp it up a bit and still sitting in behind everybody, but you can tell it's starting to stretch the field a little bit. Uh, Green Jersey is uh, taking up the lead on the front there and starting to stretch everyone out. So a couple of those efforts uh, back to back actually in this first lap. Nothing that I was ever fearful of actually breaking away, but these little 4% pinches did require some effort every lap. And it was about the only action that really happened. And uh, not to say there was an intensity there, you know, but it was a, a lot of tempo, you know, a lot of that green, the yellow, mostly. And if they, the group had applied more pressure, I would have um, probably not done so well in the final sprint, which you'll see here in a few minutes. Uh, I was a little fearful here. It looked like a group of about seven or eight were maybe going to sneak away. It was starting to look a little dangerous. I don't know. You know, you never know how everyone else is doing. Maybe nobody wants to chase. Thought there was a chance for a gap there, but it uh, never happened. So again, just sitting in, conserving every ounce of energy I possibly can on a, a pan flat course. Uh, very aero setup, like I said, the S-Works Venge with the disc wheel and uh, no need for anything remotely lightweight or even a compromise kind of all-arounder bike I don't think would be anywhere near correct for this course. There's just no elevation to be had. I even threw on the aero helmet there, which I know has no effect in Zwift, but you know, it completes the look, right? Aero setup, aero disc wheel, and aero helmet. So again, sitting in as we approach the last two kilometers of the race and 
Now the intensity starts to pick up. You'll notice my heart rate up in the uh, 180 range. So I'm starting to work pretty hard here and it's getting stretched out. I did pick up the drafting boost. Um, did not use it. I held it. So I missed out on one power up. I believe I went through one banner without using it. And I decided to keep the draft boost on me and try and use that, try and slingshot the field in the final sprint. Saw some people dumping, especially feathers right before that banner there, I think, get rid of them, try and grab something more useful for the final sprint. And guys were, guys were, must have been hurting. See, here's an arrow helmet being used uh, just to my left. Must have been hurting because people were using power-ups um, a K and a half, 1K out from the finish line. I, I don't, I mean, unless you're really going to get dropped, I would not be using that, you know. You never know. I mean, maybe they accidentally hit the power-up button. You don't know what's happening on their end in their um, pain cave. So one last wipe of the face for me with the towel. I feel like I'm sitting pretty. It's definitely ramping up. It's gone from green and yellow down there, tempo, to a lot of threshold and uh, touches of VO2 max, a lot of yellow and orange in the graph. Heart rate, like I said, around 180, which is uh, definitely in the in the hard to very hard zone. There we go, another um, power up being used, 700 meters to go, another power up to the right. We got two draft boosts being popped right there. And I'm getting ready to use my uh, draft boost. I'm getting ready to try and react and here we go. Someone comes and jumps pretty early, pretty far out. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right there. They're gone and I'm winding up and uh, I wasn't ready for that. I didn't think it would stick. I thought people would chase that down. Only saw one orange number on the right. Um, and now I'm all in with 225 is when I, I gave it the full juice but man i'm trying to make up a gap out in front of me i do peak over 1250 watts but there's no way i'm winning that and i do get that guy on the line apparently because i snagged a podium third place finish there uh, i'm pretty happy with that all things considered wish i would have gone with that move earlier and just sat behind that wheel for 500 meters Anyhow, that's the race for me. Third place finish. Back into a Zwift race. Felt good, even though it was short. 20 minutes. Very intense. Extremely hard sprint. Uh, you know, a lot of time spent in excess of 1,000 watts, peaking over 1,250. But uh, we do get on the podium with it, so I am satisfied with that effort. Appreciate your watching. If you stick around, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks.